Behind me is the Romulo Pico Adobe, which is the oldest house in the San Fernando Valley. It's actually not for sale, but it was built in 1834 by indigenous people living in a nearby San Fernando Mission. Welcome to Mission Hills, guys. Let's go check it out. Mission San Fernando Rey de España was founded on September 8, 1797. In 1811, the population of the mission was over a thousand people, with many tending to the 12,800 herd of cattle and 5,000 sheep. Both were a major source of food and revenue. Not surprisingly, the mission is located in Mission Hills, aptly named with this landmark in mind, although this area was once called Dennis Park. Adjacent to the mission is the Memory Garden in Grand Park, where many people often come to take wedding photos. Although a lovely garden to stroll through, it is also a favorite spot for many of our unhoused. If you come for a visit, you might see the resident peacocks, which have been known to fly the coop into surrounding residential yards. This tree-lined street is notable for providing rare shade in our often scorching weather. Along with the Eden Cemetery, where Groucho Marx was buried, the San Fernando Mission Cemetery also holds Richie Valens. Close to or on Sepulveda Boulevard are a lot of places, including Buon Gusto, an Italian restaurant which was made in 1954, the Safari Room, and Copja Lai. Other restaurants are in the Olivos Mission Hills Plaza, where you can find Chipotle, Hamburger Hamlet, and the California Fish Grill. There are also stores like Target, Ross, Vons, and Ulta. For 24-hour fitness members, there is a gym in the same shopping center. Espresso drinkers can rejoice at the House Roots Cafe on San Fernando Mission Road. As for real estate, Mission Hills is the median between Pacoima and Granada Hills. What do you get when you combine the two? Pretty average homes for the San Fernando Valley. They're all a bit on the smaller side, but you can find some really, really nice neighborhoods here. For one of the valley's smallest total neighborhoods, Mission Hills has a quiet dignity. The roads are wider and traffic is easier to navigate. In late spring, the area blooms with lavender-colored jacaranda trees. It is also close to the northern junction of the 405 with the 118 bisecting it. Being so small and freeway accessible, it doesn't take long before you leave Mission Hills and arrive in Granada Hills or other surrounding areas like the city of San Fernando. Yet, it still has its own police station and fire station. Beyond that, in the hills above Providence Holy Cross Medical Center is an Armenian museum, the Ararat Eskijian. It was established in 1985 by a survivor of the Armenian Genocide of 1915, Mr. Luther Eskijian. His father is credited with having saved the lives of thousands of Armenians. Through its paintings and artifacts, the museum seeks to share the history and heritage of the Armenian people. So, Mission Hills has a little bit of something for everybody. Did I mention that my office is here too? Call me, Julian Park, let's talk some real estate.